So it's currently raining very heavily here. Yeah, it's the I say we're gonna have to come in, so just take a look at it. So this has brought a little bit of hot to the block lane that you have on down here until the rain is true and be able to continue. Welcome back to another video. Today is a rainy day here at the Asebu Pan African village. So it's been raining for some time now. If you look behind me, you can see a puddle of water, you know, um, around. Now the concrete works has been done. Let me just show you. As you can see, it's very, very, you know, leveled and smooth throughout. Um, they took about three days to finish. There's now, there are different thickness for the concrete at different points so this is six inches that is for the entire house and then we have a step down for the um, the porch which is four inches over there let me see if i can get onto this so you're able to see so that is towards the porch so this is the porch and then from the porch you have the main house here and then when you take a look at this you notice that there's a bit of step down here so this is the washroom area um, now the reason why we decided to put a step down at this point is that because there's going to be a lot of activity with water around this section we don't want a situation whereby if there's a mistake water is left or tap is left open and the rest and it gets it begins flooding it doesn't flood the entire house it's just going to stay within this section so that's how come we made a step down here and this is the back porch as well so the thickness for the concrete is four inches just like as the front uh, bit and then we have that section also that is uh, the master bedroom washroom which also has a little bit of step down here so that's uh, uh, one and a half inches down so uh, once there's activity of water it just stays within this region doesn't go beyond so that is the master bedroom section so from where the block is all the way to this point from that pillar to this point is for the master bedroom and then you have the kitchen from this side all the way to this side to that side then to that side the kitchen this is a utility area this is the master bedroom washroom and then you have the living area so from this pillar all the way uh, i think no it's not in line there so the pillar it comes all the way from there to this point then to this pillar then to that pillar and then to that one so that's the living area I have a corridor over here which leads to these two rooms um, so that pillar is for that room over there and then this uh, for this room over here so that's a shared washroom so you come in through uh, the lobby and then you're able to use the door to the rooms and then you can visit the washroom as well so like I was saying it's still you know drizzling uh -huh. It, it was a little bit you know heavier than this when it was raining but it's calmed a little bit now it's still different at this uh point this is my first i must say okay no this is the second time i've experienced or account, encountered rain here at the asebu pan-african village and it was quite loud so i'm sure you've seen what has been done in terms of the concrete works now for the concrete works uh, we did it manually um so they mixed it and they used uh to tell i think two days or two and a half days here to catch the entire concrete now we use a total of about 48 bags of cement the reason is because we kept the thickness six inches some people make it five inches but we decided to go six inches so we are able to you know have four inches for the front bits that's the porch the front porch and then the back porch are both having four inches and then we also have four inches for the bathroom section or four and a half inches for the bathroom section because there's two inches thickness down before that part comes yeah just for the activity of water the same for that section as well so yeah that is basically what um has been done so currently we've started with the blocking up um yeah we've started with the you know the edges after that point he's going to do the section in between so there's a, going to be a block work from that pillar let me just get closer so after that there's going to be a block work from 
this point that comes in all the way here and it goes in there so that's a wardrobe section this is the entrance to the master bedroom there's an entrance here that comes in here and then this is the master bedroom and then there's the utility area over here so these blocks are going to be done so he's going to do the setting for these blocks and then uh, from here yeah, these ones are going to be done and then on and on so that is how it's it's going to be um, and I'll, I'll try as much as possible to show you all that so you're able to you know see how that is also going to be done so basically it's still raining you have to get off the rain and maybe uh, you know head back to Accra so uh, as usual that is just going to be about it for this video the size of the blocks we are using is five inches so because you are done with the um, the footing that is the, the, the substructure of the entire house now it's the superstructure now I must say this is uh, the part that a lot of people sometimes you know get a bit excited of because they begin to see um, the building taking shape so we are through the substructure now we are working on the superstructure so I'll take you along with the journey um, with the superstructure so and get to see how that is also going to turn out so thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one